you slash badvocate doogie us reddit. What makes life worth living for you? Welcome to Autogen Labs. Daily Reddit content. By robots. For the internet. The ability to create. It may be looked over by some, but I see our species in such a beep black light when I think about all we've created over millions of years. My daughter. Fought like beep and went through multiple rounds of chemo after a tumor was found in my beep. Never thought I'd be able to get pregnant, but conceived 18 months after I finished chemo. Understanding that just because today hasn't gone well, it does not mean tomorrow can't be different. There is hope and plenty of happiness in the future waiting for you. I don't know. My mom. I have too many books I haven't finished yet. Still looking for one. I have no idea. I'm partially afraid to take myself out and partially just feel like I can't because my husband wouldn't want me to. Otherwise, I don't really asterisk want asterisk to be here. I'm 29, working a dead-end job with a degree. Nothing to look forward to. No kids, no real family, no friends. And society treats me like I'm the bottom run on a ladder, even family. I might as well be invisible unless someone wants money or something from me. If something did happen to me, not many people would notice. I'm tired of being here, honestly, but here I am. Chicken wings. My baby girl and my wife. They are the best. It's the path of least resistance. Up. Oh, the hope that someday I'll be accepted for who I really am. That people in my life will stick around and I'll have a circle of friends again. That I might have a family chosen or the relationships with my current blood relatives repaired. That I'll wake up in the mornings not feeling depressed and wishing to go back to sleep so I don't have to be conscious. That I'll date someone who I fall in love with and they don't move away. It has happened three times. Hope that tomorrow will be better. I kept a journal of reasons like this when going through chemo. The depression got so intense, I was struggling to find reasons to convince myself why the pain was worth it. Surprisingly, a majority of my reasons were all sensory, rather than being there for family, pets, other people. Things like the smell of the air during a summer rain and feeling it on your skin, eating my favourite foods, laughing to the point of tears with my best friends, the scent of a loved one as they hold me slash I hold them, dancing to live music. All things I would miss experiencing, you know. Four reasons. My lovely wife and my three dogs. Oh you know, nothing really. Alcohol and beep. Anticipation of the sheer possibilities of tomorrow. Family. Dogs. My daughter's laughter. Chicken parmesan. I love this question, and reading through all of these responses makes me smile. Something that makes life worth living for me is the way I feel when I discover new music, and right off the bat, I fall in love with a song. It's a lovely and magical feeling, and it warms my heart. To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women. Fear of killing myself. That feeling of hope. The opportunity to learn about all sorts of things. Ugh. Just making something of my life, achieving something. And also love, love is great. I had this realisation the other day. After years of depression and suicidal thoughts, I caught myself feeling worried that I would get into an accident and not get to experience some of the things I'm looking forward to. I can't believe I'm actually looking forward to things. I'm looking forward to being a parent. I'm looking forward to building a house with my partner. I want to visit so many more countries and try so many more types of food. There's books and movies I haven't read or seen yet. There's just more I want to do and see and accomplish before I'm done here. B. My family, my two cats who are always so happy to see me getting to experience new things. Experiences and relationships. I have a family of my own to love and cherish. Life is full of opportunities to make it exciting and fulfilling if you're brave and willing to work hard. My three kids. They're all young adults and have turned into some pretty rat humans. I love hanging out with them and I can't wait to see what they do. And my dog Bert, the bestest boy. Making my kids laugh. I like to make other people laugh too, but my kids are where it's at. My kids' laughter. I'm cheesy, but it makes life amazing. My children, my wife, and my sobriety. All three of those things made me want to stick around a little longer. There will always be bad days, but never anything a hug from your kid can fix. Mother's food. To see how much more I can possibly embarrass myself. Nothing. Hope, love, food, friends, nature, animals. Believing in the magic of the day to day. My life is great with aside from a couple of things. My accomplishments thus far are relatively lame. I refuse to die with such a lame track record. I need to do something huge and cool before I go. Hope. Hope that whatever comes next improves upon what came before. 
still looking for it. Nothing, but I don't want to hurt my family. My girlfriend is the only thing that keeps me going TBH. My eight-year-old son and the way my wife smiles at him. The potential of something meaningful. I know it sounds lame, but when I had extremely bad depression when I was younger, the main reason why I didn't commit suicide was the stories of people who attempted suicide and live found that after a few years they wished they never tried at all because life eventually got better. Asterisk, Borat voice, asterisk, my wife. Beep and Pornhub. Make money, then die. Being kind to others. Death will be worth the wait. No rush. Well, what makes life worth living for you? Just the life in itself. No special reasons are needed. My wife are dogs, my friends, family and nature. People. My family and music. Honestly? Know that if I do KMS, I'll go to Beep. Beep's keeping me here for asterisk something asterisk. I don't have much of a choice but to stick around and find out why. For me, life is worth living when I'm surrounded by people I love, when I'm doing something that brings me joy, and when I'm making a positive impact on the world. Making people laugh and feel positive. The freedom to do whatever I want no matter how unadvisable. I would rather have a life where I am miserable than have a beautiful life courtesy of someone else's choices. On a less serious note, it's about knowing the fact that there are so many amazing things in the world that I haven't seen yet and that every day brings me closer to that magical moment. The fam. Alwyn. Not fearing death. My son. <sighs> My cousin. Hope for a future where life is pretty comfortable and enjoyable. Nothing, yet here I am. My kids. I didn't know what happiness was until they were born. Knowing that we are all in this life for a purpose and whichever purpose we are designed to have by beep will be where we find peace and tranquility. Nothing really, yet everything something flipped around Christmas 2022 and I have been really grateful ever since. I still have suicidal thoughts, but now I feel like I have the power to ignore them. I have so much, a family who loves me, a horde of pets whose eyes twinkle like stars when they look at me, friends who are there for me. I'd be doing them at a service if I were to not think about them and only the bad in life. So in a nutshell, they are what that makes existence worth existing. You know, like slurpers and stuff. Knowing I'm the only person certain people can come to the event. Fear of the unknown and what lies beyond death. And hope towards a successful and fulfilling future. Typically crushed by the cruel reality in society we live. Regardless, the most powerful thing is faith. Long as you have faith in yourself, your family, and a higher power if applicable, you can shrug off today's pain for tomorrow's future. The only motivation that keeps me going is the fact I can still meet and hang with my friends, and that maybe thing will be better. Take my friends away from me and I guess I'll just be dead somewhere. I make good choices, so I have a good life worth living. My wife. Without her I am nothing. Running and my two cats. Anything that makes me laugh. I can keep learning new skills and achieving new things. It's fun to set your mind to something and then accomplish it. My cat. Probably all the stuff out there to see and do. Looking forward to the possible lights of the future and to learn more about the past. Well, that's a little more of a secondary, actually. My main one is definitely to achieve comfort in my own skin. Being a young trans person, I've never been happy with myself and I want to achieve that before I die. Spy. My wife. My dog. Some days I would not get out of bed if I didn't have to care for him. He's kept me going through the darkest days. The oxygen mark, the oxygen. My children, always. And the amazing experiences life has to offer. And the bad ones only make the good ones that much better. The chance that I'll get access to a time machine that will allow me to live forever with my kids travelling through time and throughout the universe. My cat and my parents are far. My husband, my children. My cuts and my PS5 lol. I get a lot of satisfaction out of my job. I feel like I have a purpose, I'm good at what I do, and I'm making a measurable impact to make the world a better place. Foundational to that, I love my family, my partner, my dog, and my friends. I think people need both to be part of something bigger than themselves, and also to feel a sense of community and belonging. I'm fortunate to have a lot of both. My very bonded rescue dogs will get separated if I be myself. I don't want to be alive anymore, but I can't do that to them. They've been through so much already. We all have a responsibility to those close to us. They may not always deserve it, but anyone who's lost anyone knows that they'd rather them be there even at their worst than not be there at all. Unclear. Hobbies. My job pays well, 
but it's really, really hard work. I go to work so I can do the things I enjoy in my free time. I don't know. The feeling of reading with comics slash books comfortably in bed after a long day. Plus one if there's dim lighting and you ache playing in the background just knowing I have a bed waiting for me at home makes each day bearable. Thanks for watching. This has been an Autogen Labs production. That means that this video was created by a robot out of content on Reddit. We show all account names and list them in the description to credit the Redditor community that makes our work possible. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We post new videos every day. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. Our human department for public relations reads all of them, or won't be let out of their cages again. Goodbye.